Welcome back to another Dr. Damon Designs video where I hopefully can teach you a thing about graphic design. If not, maybe help you find that one little tiny feature that you've been looking for. If you have any questions at all, don't forget to check out my Twitch channel. I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So if you have any questions while I'm playing some video games, come on out and ask me the question. And if I can't explain it, I'll also demonstrate it for you. Don't forget if you find these videos super helpful and informative, don't forget to hit that subscriber button down below. Also hit that like button if you like the video and punch the notification bell for future notifications. Whenever I upload, I'm trying to come up with a new schedule. So uh, maybe it'll be a little bit more consistent than uh, once a month. The topic of today's video is from a comment from my last video on how to edit your TikToks. Mr. Bardock asks, how do you add text to the top of your videos and in different points? So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to add text and or subtitles to your videos. I'm gonna have three different methods. The first method is just using the basic text tool in DaVinci Resolve. The second method is gonna be the subtitle section of DaVinci Resolve. And the third option is going to be something completely different. And also here are the timestamps if you just wanna skip to the part you wanna see. All right, so let's get started. For method one, all you gotta do is go under the titles portion of of DaVinci Resolve. So go over here and go to titles and go down to text. This one right here is the one you want to use. This one you cannot do as much customization as you want with the one above it. So basically just drag and drop that onto your V2 or whatever is your top timeline section. But let's go through our video and type out some subtitles. If you want to make your audio go faster, just eliminate your video section so you can hear your text loud and clear so there's no lag whatsoever. Killing TTV streamers part one. All right, so killing TTV streamers part one. To use your timeline tool, to browse the audio very quickly and without it snapping from one cut to another, just deselect your snapping tool. And now you can just browse your audio like so. So basically, wherever you want to cut it, just cut it. And you can basically go over your audio again to make sure that you're typing in exactly what you want it to be. Killing TTV. So killing TTV. I'll type in killing TTV. And to customize everything, you can change it to fit your screen or your TikTok screen, whatever that may be. You can change the font. I say my favorite font for subtitles is Comica Axis. You can add shadow. I love adding shadow to it just to make it nice and clean. And adding a stroke to it. So like the black outlines of the letters. And to see how you customize your text, all you got to do is preview your video again. And using the positioning tool, you can position it wherever you want to for your TikTok or just social media videos in general. One other note with the text tool, you can actually layer text. So if I want to do multiple subtitles with multiple people in it, you can just layer different texts on top of each other like so. So if you have a video where you and your buddy are talking and you want to separate the two subtitles, you can do it this way. For method two, we're going to use the pre-built subtitle tool that DaVinci Resolve has to offer. Side note, you can't actually layer the subtitles on top of each other like you can with the text tool. I've tried it and I can show you here. It's kind of a pain, so I typically stick to text tools if there's multiple people talking in my clip. So all you got to do is right click your video and click add subtitle track to make this bigger. And all you got to do is right click and add subtitle and it'll add a subtitle in. And just like before, you can browse through your audio and cut it exactly where you want it. And all you got to do is type in here what you want to say. So killing TTVs and you can go to your track style to change the font and style just like before in the text. So coming to access, change it to yeah, 58 is fine. You can add a drop shadow like before as well and to enable your video preview just enable that and you can see what your text is going to look like and if you want to you can still position your text wherever you want now like before i did say you can't actually layer subtitle tracks so i'm going to add another subtitle track just to show you it will be grayed out so you can only have one subtitle track at a time so if you have two people talking you're gonna have to use a text track now for method three you don't actually have to manually input your subtitles what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to your deliver tab and export this video and to export your video make sure it does export as an mp4 if you're trying to upload it to tiktok uh, name it and put it wherever you want to on your computers now what you're doing in this method is importing your video into these online websites vid.io or subtitle and they'll auto subtitle your videos you're gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking to get it just right but if you're looking for a time saver this is the way to go all you gotta do is add new video it is limited to about 50 megabytes of video so if you're looking for an easy way to do subtitles you're gonna have to keep your videos rather short drag and drop your video Oh, I don't have enough credits for this. So obviously you're going to have to subscribe to this website, which is the downside of this as well. So let's try VDIO just for fun. New project, drag and drop. From here, go to subtitles, auto subtitles. You can 
can select your language, whatever language you want, and it'll auto generate your subtitles. And here it is. It generated my subtitles. Now you can only do so much customization to this. You can change your styles only a little bit. It's not like crazy. Change your fonts if you want to. Arial Black's pretty good. These are the only styles you can choose from. So it's kind of a downer, but this is the easiest way to do subtitles if you don't want to manually do it. And from here, once you're done tweaking your subtitles, you can export your video and basically just upload it to TikTok. But if you do have a subscription, you can use what's called an SRT file. Basically what this will allow you to do is import or export your SRT file, which is the file with your customized subtitles. You can drag and drop it into the subtitle field in DaVinci Resolve and do some more customization there. And it will just have it perfectly aligned to your video. I did find putting subtitles on TikTok videos did actually help the viewership and interactivity of the video. So go for it, add some text. Doesn't have to be word for word subtitles. Maybe just use the words to emphasize different points and you should be good to go on TikTok. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. If you have any questions about this video at all, come on out and I'll either explain it to you or just show you.